Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So I know I'm a little bit late in posting this, but I just got back from Sew Expo and my mind was kind of all over the place with what my plans were actually gonna be. There were a lot of projects I'd sort of like half started before I left and you know how it is, even when you go away for a short trip, it's just like when you get back, everything is just like completely out of order in your mind. But I've got it all clear now, I've got a plan. And so I'm excited to share with you what I plan on making for March. Um, okay, so first up is Sew My Style. Full disclosure, I didn't get around to the t-shirt for Sew My Style last month. I think partly because I just don't love making t-shirts. It's just not in me. Um, there were a ton of really great t-shirt patterns that came out with the maybe Simplicity Early Spring or McCall's Early Spring or one of the ones that came out early, early this year. They had a ton of like t-shirt patterns that were really, really cute. Um, so I do plan on trying one of those, but I just wasn't in the mood and it was kind of too cold to wear t-shirts anyway. So it wasn't like something I was going to be able to wear right away anyways. But so my style for March is cardigans. Again, they have two patterns that you can purchase and make, but that's, I, I don't use so my style in the traditional way. I just take the theme that they have for the month, whether it be t-shirts, cardigan, um, golly, what was January? I don't even remember. And I just sew that type of garment. So it helps bring variety to my sewing. So I'm not just always making fit and flare dresses. <laughs> which if I had it my way, that's what I would do. Um, and it helps just kind of like give me a little sewing goal. So my cardigan for this month is gonna be this Berta style little jackety thing. I just love how it looks in a line drawing, like a little <laughs> Um, The fabric that I got came from Style Maker Fabrics. It's two really lightweight um, Terry, French Terry's. First this, I mean, I'm basically mocking the knocking off the uh, sample garment that they made for the pattern. But it's this and this together. Very lightweight, very drapey jersey. I had full intentions of making this before my trip because I took the red eye back and I knew I was gonna be, I was gonna wanna be like cozy and comfortable, but I didn't get around to it. So I wore a hoodie instead. But anyways, both of these are available right now, stylemakerfabrics.com. Um, so yeah, Berta. 6336. It is super easy. I already have the pattern pieces pulled out. They're just like gigantic weird shapes and then with like little bands for the Murphy part. Um, okay, so that's first. Next up is my refashion. Again, <laughs> I didn't get around to the refashion in February. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I was just like in a slump. Okay, fine. Um, I did get a ton of sewing done and I'll cover all of that in my uh, makes video coming up, but I don't have any of those garments here. Um, well, I have some of them here, but three, four things that I made, four things got sent out to Sew Expo to be on display there. So. It feels like I didn't sew anything because I don't have anything to show for it. But when those things come back, <laughs> then I'll be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I have all these great things. Um, so I'll show you more of those. But a refashion was not one of those things. But I did get around to at least cutting this guy up. You can tell I took apart the bodice from the skirt and ripped open the side seams. And then the skirt is a tube. Um, so I am well on my way to refashioning this. I think I decided I was just going to resize it and just make it smaller. Um, but it'll be more seasonally appropriate in March anyways, being that it's sleeveless, even though it is like a double knit or something. Um, it'll be more easy to wear in the weather in March. So this is still on the list. This will be my refashion for February slash March in case you're keeping count out there. Um, okay, next up is, is that next? Yeah, so it is Style Maker Fabrics launch month. If you're new to the channel and you haven't been around since September-ish, um, every, oh gosh, twice a year, uh, Style Maker Fabrics releases 
like hundreds of new fabrics for the season. So they'll do one on the first day of spring and they'll do one on the first day of fall. And when that happens, she reaches out to a bunch of different bloggers and we all participate in this blog tour. And so this year for the blog tour, I went a little bonkers. I don't know. I just got really carried away with this concept, this, this video concept. And so by the end of it, I agreed to make one, four things. I don't know how that happened, but I am still excited about it. The first thing is, and again, none of these fabrics are available yet, but they will be at the end of the month. You'll also still see the swatch video from me where I go over every single swatch from like all of the collection that she's releasing. It is like the ultimate in fabric porn. Um, but so you'll see a lot of these then, but also I think a lot of these are similar fabrics that she's had before, just in new updated colorways. At least what I chose is sort of like that. Um, okay, so the first thing is pants. Yeah, I said it, me, pants. And it's really because I fell in love with these Tom and Linda Platt pants. You can see them better in the line drawings. Um, I just think that, I just think it's going to work. I don't know why. Maybe because it's Tom and Linda Platt and I've had success with their patterns in the past. Maybe it's because of the like style of the pant being fitted in the waist and then looser at the low hip. <laughs> I think they're going to work. Um, but if I chicken out, I also have Simplicity 8389 which is also super cute. I would make the like wider leg version, although this is super cute. And when you see my fabric, you're gonna think of this, but this just isn't super flattering on me. Um, so it would be this one. And the fabric is a tinsel twill in this amazing coral color. I mean, they are like, they're pretty bright. It's like borderline hot pink. Um, but I think they're gonna make super, super cute pants. And so this is how things started to unravel in my mind when I was coming up with this outfit. I'm like, okay, hot, bright coral pants. I need a top to like mute it down, but I couldn't decide on just one top. So I chose three tops. <laughs> it sounds so silly when I say it, but the first top is this. It's not done yet. This is actually this. Simplicity 8789 with the bodysuit. So in here are like little underwear. So it'll be like something like this. Like that, sewn on to the bottom. And then the pants will come up and over. Something like this. Won't that be so cute? I mean, it is like a perfect match to like all these warmer toned um, flowers that are in the top. So that is one. And then another one is Berta uh, 6313. This little top, if you remember from their release earlier this year, I posted this on Instagram as one of my top picks and here I am making it. Um, so I've got that and out of, um, that's gonna be made out of this blue Swiss. So you can see how those would be together. So it'd be like light and flowy, kind of casual. I'm thinking like weekend vibes. Pfft, there's a lot of something coming off of this. Um, so yeah, that, this is like my work professional businessy kind of look. This is my casual uh, like brunchy type of vibe. And then the third thing, the third top is going to be a sweatshirt. Cause I thought it'd be kind of cool to see what it would be like to take these like very dressy pants and dress them down. And so I got this coral, it's kind of like heathered, uh, sweatshirt fleece. And then, you know how like ready to wear sweatshirts have that little like triangle 
and then it's in a contrast like usually like a deeper tone and then the collar band is that same color and the cuffs are that same color so i thought it would be cool to see what it would be like to do that concept in this color so this will be like very little subtle um details and then this will be the main body of it and then again here's the pants what do we think of all of this it's going to be very um on Wednesdays we wear pink. <laughs> it's gonna be very pink, but that's okay. I think it'll still be really cool, I hope. Um, and then, so for the, oh, did I go over the pattern for the sweatshirt yet? So for the sweatshirt, I'm thinking either, Megan Nielsen has a sweatshirt pattern that ties at the waist. I can't remember the name of it, but either that or I was thinking about taking this guy from this Dana Marie, A Twist of Fate. And I was thinking about incorporating this into the sweatshirt. Like if I could figure out a way to extend this line up so it's all one piece of a bodice. So depending on how much time I have, I wanna try and figure that guy out. It also kind of reminds me, remember that headband that I, it was like an old navy headband that I deconstructed, figured out how they sewed it and then remade a bunch of headbands like that. That twisty thing is very similar to what this looks like it is. So maybe I could also use that as a reference point, but I wanna do something with some interest, excuse me, at the hip other than like a waistband. You know what I mean? I want to make it visually cool and interesting. I also, also toyed around the concept of doing, like a lot of people are putting like little ruffles into the arm side, but after getting this, I think it's a little bit too thick for that. Um, like just a smidge. If it were like 25% lighter weight, I would be down for that, but I don't think that would work. So I just want to do something visually interesting with the top with the sweatshirt. So it's not just like, oh, she just made a sweatshirt. That's so lame. Like I wanna do something cool with it. So if you have any ideas that pop into your mind as I'm kind of brainstorming this out loud, um, let me know. But I think, yeah, so that is five things, no, six things, six things for March and we're already like a weekend and this is all I've done. <laughs> and take apart the, the refashion. So I guess technically I'm a little bit into it but um but yeah so those are my plans for march as you can tell i'm really excited about them i love spring my uh, i'm just so happy whenever winter ends like it i don't know if i technically have that seasonal affect disorder or whatever it is but i know that like emotionally it just drains me and so i'm just so so happy that it's getting warmer outside it's daylight longer um things are gonna start blooming I hope I don't know I haven't lived here long enough to ever see anything living <laughs> outside but I assume all these trees outside my window are gonna bloom something I hope they're not dead but either way that's neither here nor there I'm just excited about it finally finally um being spring <laughs> If you're with me, leave a thumbs up in the comments. Um, so that's going to do it for today. I will see you all very soon. Bye.